Okay guys, so we are here with Brian Andrelza. He's the Vice President of Design and Engineering here at SeaWorld. So for 2020, you guys announced Icebreaker, the new coaster coming here to SeaWorld Orlando. So can you tell us what makes Icebreaker special for SeaWorld Orlando? Sure, so Icebreaker is SeaWorld Orlando's first launch roller coaster. But it's not just one launch, we have four launches on the ride. And it's an exciting start because we'll use a horizontal switch track and go on to those four launches and also it includes a beyond vertical spike tilted at 100 degrees. That's great. So for Icebreaker being a premier launch coaster, we know that the capacity of it usually for like the Skyrocket 2s will have one train. Will Icebreaker have the one train system since it is a multi-launch system or will it have two train operations? So that unique horizontal track switch allows us to run two trains of 18 passengers per vehicle. That's great. So with Icebreaker being themed to the Arctic section, will it have any theming similarities to Wild Arctic along the park? So we'll take our cues from the Wild Arctic attraction nearby and we'll have education and conservation messages in the queue line to uh, learn about the Alaska Sea Life Center who's our conservation partner for the attraction. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about the Alaskan Sea Life Conference? Sure. So they're the only facility in Alaska that specializes in rescue, rehab, research and educational experiences and they um, specialize in arctic animals from belugas to seals and walruses and more. It's wonderful. Can you tell us maybe some facts about Icebreaker coming to Sierra Sure. So uh, like we already said it's a four launch ride, a top speed of 52 miles per hour. That beyond vertical reverse bike is 93 feet tall tilted at 100 degrees. The top hat element is a near vertical uh, climb and twist at 80 feet tall with a near vertical dive, followed by low to the ground airtime hills, twists, corners, and directional changes. The entire track travel distance is 2,750 feet long. Awesome. So, Sewer of Orlando coaster wise is very thrill based as we see Mako, Kraken, and Manta with all these crazy high speed intensity thrills. Can you tell us how Icebreaker is kind of like separated from that and how it Sure. So, we see Icebreaker as a family thrill coaster. So, the ride has a 48 inch tall rider height requirement, which means that it's accessible for nearly everyone and it's a good middle ground from Grover's Boxcar Derby Racer and Journey to Atlantis and all the way up to Mako, Kraken, and Manta. So we think it's a nice middle ground that will be accessible for everyone. That's great. And I have one more question that that is unique. Can you tell us about the restraint system for this new coaster? Sure. So we'll feature a lap bar restraint with a comfort collars uh, uh, for over-the-shoulder harnesses. Great. Well, thank you, Brian, for this interview. And can't wait for Icebreaker to open in 2020. Great. Thank you very much. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to SeaWorld. My name is Alex Jacobson. Great to have all of you here this fine day. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we have some very exciting news to share with you this morning. And to do that, I'd like to introduce to you right now the Vice President of Marketing for SeaWorld Orlando and Aquatica, Angela Bowman. Thank you, Alex. Good morning, everyone. Thank you all so much for everyone who's joining us here in person and online. 2019 was an incredible year for us here at SeaWorld Orlando. We opened a lot of new attractions. We had Infinity Falls. We introduced Kari Kari Curl over at Aquatica, and of course, the new Sesame Street Land. We also introduced an unprecedented 52 weekends of events. And these include events going on right now. We've got our craft beer festival going on weekends right now where our guests can enjoy 100 different craft brews and specialty food items. We also have very soon coming our SeaWorld Halloween Spectacular coming back. And it returns with all the trick-or-treating that you all love, plus a new Sesame Street Halloween parade. And then we'll close out the year with the award-winning SeaWorld's Christmas celebration. Today, I am excited to tell you that in 2020, we are returning with 52 weekends of events. So a lot of your favorites will be back. We will have our Seven Seas Food Festival, our summertime electric ocean with the incredible fireworks finale, Ignite, and Inside Look. Um, if you're not familiar with Inside Look, that event is a newer event we've introduced where we um, bring all of our guests, invite them back behind the scenes to see how we take care of our animals every day. It's been an incredible hit amongst our guests. 
We'll also be introducing new Sesame Street weekends throughout the year, and those are just going to give us new reasons to invite our guests to learn, play, and grow within our Sesame Street land area. We're really excited about all of those things. Now for the best way to visit. We have a variety of uh, products that you can choose from. We just launched our new 2020 fun card. Hopefully you saw that last week, where if you buy it now, you can visit again and again in 2020. Plus, you get 2019 free. Or you can upgrade to an annual pass. Our annual pass program is amazing. We have incredible benefits like free guest tickets, uh, free parking and park discounts, free tours. Uh, I'm excited to say we are adding to that list and we will be adding even more benefits to some of our passes. More guest tickets, additional in-park discounts. It's really cool. So you gotta check it out at SeaWorldOrlando.com and while you are checking it out and watching today and learning about all the new attractions that we have coming to our Florida parks, you may wanna consider a four park or platinum pass because there's a lot of stuff and annual pass is always among the first to experience it, of course. Plus, you want to get it now because prices are going to go up. So right now is the best time to get it. It's the best deal of the year. So now I would like to introduce my colleague, Brian Andrelzik, who is the Vice President of Design Engineering. He's a super coaster enthusiast and very knowledgeable. And um, he's going to come up here to let you know about what's coming in 2020 at SeaWorld. Thank you, Angela. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming out today. I get the fun job today to announce Icebreaker to you. Icebreaker is SeaWorld Orlando's first launched roller coaster. And not just one launch, we're launching four times. So we're going to start out with a horizontal track switch and a backwards launch up Florida's steepest beyond vertical drop. That's a 93 foot tall spike that's tilted at 100 degrees. And the fun's just getting started, because we'll continue with a forwards launch, a backwards launch, and another forwards launch, rocketing you to 52 miles per hour, all along a unique launch track that has an airtime hump on either end. And the fun continues with a top hat element, a near vertical climb and twist, and a near vertical drop, followed by low to the ground airtime hills, twists, turns, and directional changes, all along 2,750 feet worth of travel distance. That all sounds really thrilling, and it sure is, but the ride is accessible for the entire family with a 48-inch tall rider height requirement. This is SeaWorld's sixth roller coaster and adds even more diversity to our already amazing collection of roller coasters and attractions. The coaster will be located in the Wild Arctic Plaza area and will take theming cues from the Wild Arctic attraction next door. We're also very excited to bring you our conservation partner for this attraction, the Alaska Sea Life Center. Alaska Sea Life Center is the only facility in Alaska that specializes in rescue, rehabilitation, education, and research. And we're excited to bring you further details about that partnership as this project continues. So as you may have seen and heard, our construction crews are hard at work bringing Icebreaker to you. You can see a great piece of our bright orange roller coaster track here and we hope you get to sign that column over there as well. So look forward to seeing you all in spring of 2020 as we break the ice with Icebreaker. Let's take a quick look at what you can expect from the ride. Thank you, Brian. Right now, uh, we're going to connect with our sister park, Bush Gardens Tampa, as they have some special announcements to share with us as well. We're excited to add to our growing ride portfolio, which offers something for everyone. Guests will be able to experience Icebreaker in the spring of 2020, located in the Wild Arctic Plaza. Excited to introduce our park president for Bush Gardens, Stuart Clark, to give you all the news today. Thank you, Amay. It's always bad to talk after somebody's taller, right? So, thanks, Amay. And uh, hello to all of our friends online, and of course, to all of you here at Bush Gardens Tampa. You know, we're so excited about announcing our 2020 attractions, but first, I'd be remiss if I didn't at least acknowledge, right, all of our thousands and thousands of employee ambassadors who work tirelessly every day to create all of those moments that matter for our guests, right? And especially, 
our ambassadors today right here in this room who set up this great event. How about a big round of applause for those folks? You know, as we look, look ahead to 2020, we've got to stop for just one second, right? And we think about all the great events that we had and we launched for 2019. Everything from our food and wine events to our, um, you know, Real Music, Real Masters. Of course, right around the corner from uh, Tampa's Best Haunt experience, right? Uh, Hello Scream, our 20th year of fear starting on September 20th. So we're very, very excited about that. Um, but of course, Christmas Town right after that. So when we think about all those amazing experiences, of course, the, the one that's exciting for people also this year in 2019 was Tigris. And we are thrilled, we were thrilled a year ago today to talk about the announcement of Tigris. We've been thrilled about the performance of Tigris and all of the great reviews we're hearing from our guests. But we've got even more coming, right? And so there's probably no better time that you've ever had to become a past member in our parks. And we've been talking about that this week too. So later today, you're gonna to hear more and more about these amazing past member offers that we have launched right now. Probably my favorite and the most impressive is our fun card offer that we've never had a deal like this before. And we're just thrilled to, to absolutely speak about that today because not only can you just pay for a day and get the rest of 2019, so Christmas Town and Tigris and all those great events together, but you can also get all of 2020 included in that same in that same fun card price. So there's never been a better time to buy a pass than right now in September. So we encourage all of our uh, people watching today and everyone out there to, to go ahead and take advantage of that, that opportunity today. Um, so the thrills keep on coming, right? We've been talking about uh, what's coming in 2020 and it's not only Bush Gardens, but also right across the street at our sister park, Adventure Island. And so no better person to speak about that new attraction at Adventure Island and our very own Andrew Hatcher from our design and engineering team, the person who's actually leading that new, new event. Andrew. Thanks, Stuart. Now, while Busch Gardens has been celebrating many milestones this year as part of their 60th anniversary, we're looking forward to honoring Adventure Island's 40th anniversary in a similar fashion. Since 1980, Adventure Island has been providing splash filled fun for families. From rivers and pools to slides and play areas, these families have been coming back to our park for nearly four decades to make new memories each season. And so now, we're excited to announce that our future is bright with a new thrill debuting in the beginning of our 2020 season. <laughs> Solar Vortex, America's first dual tailspin water slide. This high thrill family ride will combine high banking rotations with rapid descents, sending riders on a swirling journey through two open tailspins. Manufactured by Whitewater, this raft will include three dynamic aqualucent elements, harnessing the power of the Florida sun to send colorful patterns into the slide as riders reach speeds above the 20 miles per hour. We're confident that, the, that Solar Vortex will provide a thrilling new experience for families when it opens at Adventure Island. And so we look forward to sliding into 2020 with you on Solar Vortex. And now, give us a little more about Bush Gardens. Here comes Stuart. Thank you, Andrew. You know, our Adventure Island team, uh, led by Brian Kilpatrick, they've done an amazing job the last few years, right? We've added great attractions. We've added, uh, you know, um, several, several new attractions, right? Like Colossal Curl, um, Vanish Point, and of course, Solar Vortex now is going to make sure that our future at Adventure Island is brighter than ever. So now we want to talk a little bit about Bush Gardens and a little thing that we have going on here that is probably one of the most highly anticipated thrill attractions anywhere in the world for the year 2020. Uh, and I just, I can't say enough about it, right? But the person who can say even more about it is none other than Andrew Schaefer, who is our design and engineering person who will be leading that project. Andrew? Thank you, Stuart. Good morning, everybody. So one year ago, I had the pleasure of announcing Tigris, Florida's tallest launch coaster. And now today, I get the, the pleasure of being able to announce to you the newest predator coming to Busch Gardens in Tampa Bay in 2020. 
When it opened in 1999, Guazi debuted as Florida's first wooden dueling roller coaster. In 2020, the classic has evolved into a new experience with entirely new thrills with a much bigger bite. What's that? The wait is over. Something's coming. You've been waiting. Oh. portion of today. I have a couple of things still this morning to share with you. It is not over and our wonderful PR director Lori asked me to go through a couple of housekeeping items for those of you that are here in person. We have some interview opportunities if you'd like to hear more about Icebreaker with Brian. He will be over by the coaster track and some of our visuals so you can get lots of pictures and hear from him. We also have Spanish interview available with Abe. He will also be over in that area. As a thank you for joining us on this special day, we would like to invite all of you as well to sign a piece of the coaster support. It is very cool. I saw a lot of you already doing that already. So that's really special, and I hope you all get an opportunity to do that today. And then we also have a little sneak preview for Craft Beer Festival. So since that's happening now, we couldn't let that go without talking about it today. So I know it's a little early, but we have some samples for you today for food too, not just beer. Um, Chef Hector is available as well if you'd like to do any interviews with him as well. And um, I think that's about it. So thank you so much for coming today. We really appreciate it. And um, if you have any questions, let me or Lori or any of your PR contacts know. Thank you very much.